If you want to escape with your life and some sweet loot, stick around and we'll tell you how. Welcome comrades, I'm Ricky with WatchMojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 rookie mistakes in Escape from Tarkov. Number 10. Loot is why you're playing. Okay, yes survive also, obviously. But ultimately, you're staying alive to bring that sweet, sweet loot back to your home base. Because your stash is persistent, you can build up a great collection of armor, weapons, and supplies to take with you on future raids. And remember, every time you examine an item you haven't found yet, you gain a little bit of experience. Surviving with a good kit and fresh loot sets you up even better for your next outing. And don't forget your alpha container, a storage box that's in your pouch. Anything you put in here during a match, you keep even if you die, so rubles, a rare key, etc. Number 9. Play as and with scavs. There are two roles to play as, the scav or scavenger and the PMC. The PMC is your main character and the scav is a randomized playable enemy faction. Both roles involve looting and escaping, but scavs start with random loot, which could be great or could be weak. But this loot doesn't cost you anything, and as a scav, other NPC scavs won't be immediately hostile. Player scavs might kill you, however, so be aware. If you manage to take down a PMC or another scav and take his gear and extract, you get to keep all that gear and use it on your PMC. Number 8. Patience. Unlike a battle royale like PUBG or that other one, there is far less urgency to escape from Tarkov. Your objective is different and you aren't constantly running away from a collapsing circle. Your goal is to get to extraction with the best gear you can find along the way. You still need to get to the extraction zone in time, but there isn't an ever-present wall of death following you. So take your time, let other squads get to the extraction zone first, and fight it out, because the last thing you want is to get trapped between squads. Found an exit, time for extract. Number seven, don't immediately open fire. In most shooters, as soon as you see an enemy, you start shooting. In Escape from Tarkov, shooting at an enemy, even one that hasn't spotted you yet, could be a mistake. Are you guaranteed to kill them? Are they alone? Where are their friends? Maybe there are other hostels in the area that will come and investigate the noise. We're not saying that you should become a bush camper, but only take fights you can win. Hell, when you're new to the game, it's okay to just pick off and loot NPC scavs and escape, avoiding other players entirely. Number 6. Hotkey your healing items. There are a lot of bad injuries and status effects you can get stuck with in Escape from Tarkov. Pain, fractures, toxication, bleeding, and more. What fun! Which means there are a lot of different types of medical supplies as well, and it's not as simple as using health packs to stay alive. You'll need everything from basic cheese slices to big old grizzly first aid kits to make it to the extraction, so adding the various healing items to your hotkeys makes using them much more efficient you'd be surprised how much just a second or two of time saved can make a difference. Number 5. Don't be afraid to push enemies. Remember what I said earlier about not being a bush camper? Don't be a bush camper. You'll never get good at the game, you won't grow, you won't improve, and your victory will be hollow. We're not saying always be aggressive and never hide, but you'll only get good at shooting mechanics if you actually engage with other players. Camping doesn't count. A lot of players play very conservatively and aren't expecting you to rush them. If you have an enemy alone and cornered, don't give them a chance to make a plan or to get out a grenade. Consider charging them. They probably won't expect it. Number 4. Don't instantly loot defeated enemies. It may be tempting to immediately run up to a downed enemy and loot their corpse, but trust us, this will often get you killed. Keep your eyes peeled and your ears open. And remember, the noise you made in combat may have gotten you some unwanted attention. 
Just watch what happens when YouTuber Ramen Style enters a raid with just a sidearm and after hearing a gunshot, goes to investigate. Let's kill the player. He was looting the scav here. We got two players, oh my god. Also, shout out to Ramen Style. He makes very good Tarkov videos. Number three. Hey, listen! As the game is now, footsteps and even crouch walking are very loud. Encounters can be few and far between, so always make sure to keep your ears open. NPC scavs will bark dialogue when you get too close to them and even shout to each other so you know when they have friends. Gunfire obviously carries a big distance, so depending on your situation, you'll be able to sneak up on or avoid enemies entirely. And don't underestimate the value of tactical earpieces, especially if you're going to a stealth run. You better worry about bears. Number two, keep a map handy. When you're just learning the game and the layout of all the different raids, simply finding the extraction point can be a challenge. If you have a second monitor, tablet, or laptop, it will really help to have the map of the area you're in for quick reference. Even opening the maps on your phone is better than nothing, and maybe even a little immersive. There are lots of nooks and crannies you can duck into just to get your bearings, because unlike other games, it's easy to get turned around and even lost. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, nothing to lose. Dying as a scav means a cooldown before you can spawn as a scav again. And playing as your PMC means every time you go in, you risk losing the gear you spawn in with unless you spawn in with nothing. Some people will recommend just taking a melee weapon and nothing else, but sidearms are very cheap and disposable. Aim for the enemy's heads and face, as most enemies won't have a face mask, and if you're just a little lucky, you can get an early kill and a full set of gear to play out the rest of the round with. And remember that alpha container, because even if you die, you can still finish the match with more than you started out with. You made it to the end, which means you've improved your game by at least 20%. You're welcome. All right, guys, as always, thank you so much for checking out the video. Please be sure to like and subscribe to Watch Mojo, and I'll see you next time.